I'm an academic scientist working at a university. I don't pretend to know how marketing and advertising works. Um, I can just say from my own personal opinion, as a female scientist, uh, as a scientist at all, um, that I'm disappointed that, that, that this video was thought to be appropriate. Well, I was trying to learn some fun facts for uh, one of the Deep Sky videos we were due to, to film today, um, but kept getting distracted by this furor that kicked off on Twitter over um, a, a simple little YouTube video. So the video in question is the launch video from a big campaign by the European Union to encourage more girls, more young women, to study science, which sounds like a great idea. My first introduction to the video were very cryptic comments on Twitter by people who were clearly having a very strong emotional reaction to this video. So my curiosity was piqued and I clicked on the link uh, to find out what all the fuss was about. And this pilot video, this, this uh, gateway video to this project, seemed to consist of, disappointingly, a parade of stereotypes about what girls are, what they like, um, and, and really didn't seem to connect with the entire mission of getting girls interested in science. It seemed to connect girls to fashion and high heels and makeup, which are all completely valid um, interests for any women, any girls, gosh, even any men out there, let's keep an open mind. Um, but it really, really sent, at least to me and by all accounts to a lot of other people on Twitter, a very, very bad and very negative message. I'm not a massive fan of the video, I should say that from the outset, but the people who made the video aren't here, so I'll try and be the devil's advocate. One of the first things that, that immediately strikes me is that the people who seem to have had the strongest reaction to it are grown-ups, are people who are already scientists who are dismayed by how their profession is being portrayed. But those people aren't the people this video is targeted. Maybe this will hit the right chord with the target audience. I'm not the target audience, that's quite right. I, they are preaching to the converted with me. I already do science because I love it. Um, but I think that's the message that hasn't come across here. And that's the reason why other scientists, male and female, are getting so upset. If we want to be realistic about encouraging um, young people, male or female, into science, the driving force behind that has to be because they are passionate about it and because they want to find out more about how the universe works. Um, and that video didn't seem to encompass any of that. Now I want to be really clear, I have not explored the rest of the content on that site. For all I know, they might be doing a fantastic job in accomplishing what I just said about encouraging uh, young people into science. But unfortunately, if that message is there, it has been obscured by this video, which has grabbed everyone's attention, primarily because it peddles in exactly the stereotypes that people like myself um, are trying to work against. That isn't the stereotype of scientists. The stereotypes of scientists are men with crazy hair and lab coats and this kind of male-dominated arena. I think they're shattering a stereotype in a way, aren't they? They're shattering a stereotype by saying a young, attractive, glamorous woman could also do science. You're completely right that in one respect, they are going against stereotypes of what scientists are and what scientists look like. But on the other hand, they appear on the surface to be reinforcing stereotypes about what girls are like and what girls are interested in. Um, and they've taken a very, very narrow view um, in that respect. Uh, one that I hope is not mirrored in their wider campaign. It must be acknowledged that over the last 30 or 40 years or so, science as a whole hasn't done an excellent job of marketing itself 
to women because not enough women do it. it. Maybe it is time to let all these advertising people and people who are very good at selling Coca-Cola a chance at selling science. And maybe this is their way of doing it. Isn't it the ends that matter rather than the means? It is the ends, but um, you have to... We, I would love to see uh, more women studying science. Um, but again, they have to be studying it for the right reasons, not because of glossy adverts, but because their own personal interests, their own personal passions have been um, lit on fire. When I was young, as a boy, I used to watch James Bond movies. Now, a James Bond movie is not what it's really like to be a spy. You know, Sean Connery's this ridiculously good-looking guy having this glamorous life. That's not what being a spy is really like. But it made me want to be a spy. Isn't this kind of what that ad is doing? Even if it's not depicting science accurately, isn't it kind of making you think, wow, being a science looks really cool? And just igniting an interest and then see where it goes over the next 10 years of that young person's education? And, and how has your spy career gone then, Brady? <laughs> okay, not so good. Yeah. You're a scientist, and a lot of the people who are critical of this ad are scientists, but it seems to me they're being very unscientific because they haven't given this experiment a chance to succeed or fail in its mission before they've condemned it. Sure. Well, interestingly, in the scientific literature in the past few months has been a study that's come out, and again, I will, I will say, as a scientist, I haven't read the study. I'm only going by what I've read on summaries of the findings. Um, but that has said that having hyper-feminine role models in exactly this kind of area actually demotivate young girls from doing science because they're already facing so much pressure to be thin and to be pretty and to be beautiful. They see that as unattainable. If they already see science as unattainable, trying to imagine that they could do both although many people do, many, you know, science, as I, I want to say, encompasses a huge variety of people. That's kind of the point. Um, making that the headline may turn off more girls than it, it may inspire. Um, you're right, I, I don't know what the outcome will be. Um, but I think showing real people doing real science and letting them speak about what they're really passionate about, which again is, I hope, what the ultimate aim of this campaign is, in my opinion, would, would be a better way forward than to, again, present stereotypes that, um, you know, already come from all other sides of um, young girls' lives. Um, why burden them with, with more um, high heels and lipsticks and you must be beautiful and smart? Um, why can't we just say, be yourself, um, find something you're interested in and enjoy it? Um, and hopefully that would, that would do the trick. If this video resulted in a huge influx of young girls at school thinking, you know what, I'm going to look more closely at science and becoming scientists, would you retract your position? Would you say, I was wrong, I'm not marketing, maybe this is the way to do it? Or would the, would the means not justify the end? Hey, I'm a scientist. If the data, if the numbers show that this is the way forward, then I would hold my hand up and say, yeah, I'm wrong, okay, that is the way to appeal to young girls. Um, but my hypothesis is that it doesn't seem to be the right way. Science.